Hey everybody, this is Greg coming in with another uh, non-Fundrise video today. Today we're going to be talking about something called Ground Floor. Uh, it was something that was brought to me from one of my viewers. Uh, just wanted to see what was different here. They would they had asked, you know, are you investing? Hey Greg, you, you know, are you investing in something called Ground Floor? And I I said well, I've not really heard of it, so I'm going to kind of deep dive here a little bit with you guys, just to kind of have a look at it and uh, see what uh, what it's all about. Uh, before we start though, if you like what you see, please make sure to hit that thumbs up video down below. It does help with the algorithms and all the other fun stuff. If you do like what you see also, you know, in a little bit more of a sense, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell to make sure you see what comes up. I do have a lot of Funrise videos. We're now looking here at ground floor. Um, so let's just start diving in, all right? So ground floor, this is their main splash page on our website. Uh, they come off as building wealth is easy if you know where to start. Uh, this is another one of those crowdsourced real estate investment uh, type things. It's not really what I would call a REIT or anything like that. It's just you are investing in real estate. So um, starting with $10 minimum down, uh, looks like they're, they're saying it's 10.5% 10, 10 actual returns to date, um, averaged in there with how they're going, and I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit. And it looks like they've uh, earned over $12.6 million in interest so far for their users. So this is kind of a, a simple way of how it works. Um, you sign up. Put in your name and your your last name, your email address, password, all that fun stuff. Um, you choose your investments, which we'll get into. I'll show you the list of investments that you can get into. Um, and you can see there, there are a bunch of housing areas. You just fund your account with your bank account or, or however you want to fund it. And then you earn. Four steps. Pretty simple, right? I don't know. We're going to find out. Seems like they're ranked uh, number 402 on the Inc. 5000 from 2020, and they're ranked uh, number 102 on the Top 500 <clears throat> Technology Fast 500 2020 for North America. So they say, you know, why ground floor? Well, it's built on the belief that there's a smarter way to capitalize America by opening private capital markets to individual investors. So we have the tools and talent to help everyone build wealth through real estate. So how do they do this? Well, one, you, the regular user can just invest. So if you've seen Fundrise, you put money into an account and then you invest that money into real estate investment trusts, uh, which is kind of like a huge um, pocket of real estate, of different kinds of real estate in different areas. And uh, it's just kind of like a nice leveled area so that it's, it's kind of even for you to invest in. So that this is a little different and we'll get into that. Uh, the other way that you can do uh, do some kind of investing here or in a sense is you could be the actual borrower of money. So you can actually put your real estate up. So say you have a house that you want to renovate or that you want to buy and resell it. Well, you can actually put yourself on the market here and make yourself a borrower. So you'll get money from those investors and, uh, and rehab a house and then sell it. And then that money, the, the profit goes between you, the borrower, and the people that are investing in you. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll get to that again. And uh, we'll start with the borrow part here. So for the borrowing, uh, currently accepting loan applications and closing in as little as three weeks. So you essentially, um, you'll get a soft, uh, short term hard money loan for real estate investors in one to four unit properties in these 31 states. So anything that is light blue is where they're looking at doing that. They have a nice 1-800 number. So <clears throat> rates starting at 5.5% and roll points in the closing. True deferred payments, um, loan sizes from 75,000 to a million dollars, um, up to the 100% of the loan cost, which we'll get into uh, depending on your experience and um, up to 75% loan to after repair value, which we'll get into as well. They go from six, nine, and 12 month terms, no minimum transaction experience required, uh, five year look back for experience. Um, so this is, this is what you'll be able to see and we'll show that to you. Minimum property value has to be $50,000 and you have to have a credit score of 640 or above. Um, all loans will be full recourse loans with personal guarantees. So how does it work? Well, you apply, simple, do it online, complete 
at your convenience and work directly with your personal BDM. You'll fund it so your true asset-based lending defer payments for up to one year and roll points in the closing. So they'll coordinate and all that. And then you just do your flip. You know, simple draw process for finished work, complete the renovation, sell the property, and then you repay your loan back to ground floor. So they have they have some uh, people talking about what they did and, and all that fun stuff. So let's go into... Um, into the investment part of this. Uh, let's see here. Here we go, into the investment part. So I'll go to the first page. So this is investing, okay? You'll, you'll kind of have in your splash page when you log in, it'll, it'll have your available funds and, and you can get a $100 for every $5,000 that you transfer in. That's good until the end of October. <clears throat> I'm sure that changes every every few months. They'll have you fund your account. They'll have you go to your investment page. And you can set up auto investing, which is kind of cool, which we'll go over. And then they have a blog that you can go through. So this is the investment page. So you've seen it on my Fundrise page, and if you haven't, feel free to go to my other videos and you can kind of see what's going on there. But they have what they, they offer some convertible debt notes and some ground floor notes. They don't have them right now. They do have an investment wizard, which we'll go into once I have money into this fund, but we're not gonna go over that today. But they do have different loans here that you can fund. Um, and you can kind of divvy it out if you want to show the, the loans that you've invested in. Again, I have zero skin in this game right now. So this is just a fresh load. We're going through it just like you. And it looks like, um, <clears throat> from what I've seen, the loan values will go from, let's see if I can do the rate here. They'll go from an A value all the way to like an F or G value, which essentially means... <clears throat> Low risk, low reward. High risk, uh, high reward. So you'll you'll start at that 6.5% return, and I think it goes all the way up to like a 15% return, which, <clears throat> depending on what you want, you know, you can kind of go that. Fundrise used to have a scale like this, and, and they kind of kind of scale it down into like opportunistic being that higher end, like high risk, high reward, and then the the value being the low, like the A level. So if we look up here at this A uh, value loan, we can see that it's in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a purchase and renovation with a rate of 6.5%. It'll show how much more time is remaining on the term of the loan that uh, ground floor has given the person and their valuation, the, the payment schedule, how many investors are currently in it. So we see 458 here and the loan amount of $238,380, and how much time and how much money is remaining to invest into that loan. So if we go in here to this loan, this is kind of the project summary. So instead of being able to just kind of go into a, a purse of uh, like an REIT, where you have, in the sense of what we're doing in uh, Fundrise right now, is there's a 30 property kind of REIT available in the interval fund, you're investing, say, $50 at one time just in this property. So you can just say, okay, yeah, invest now. But So this will show you the, you know, it is an A value with a rate of 6.5 return for you as an investor, 12 months, 61 uh, loan to ARV, which we'll go over, and, and the remaining, the $156,630, 26 days left, and there's 458 investors in there. That's great. So it's going to be a purchase and renovation. It's the first lien, which is this blue guy right here. Uh, total loan amount of $238,380. The uh, balloon payment, principal interest, just what kind of repayment terms there are. So they'll go under this financial overview of what the account is. They'll say, okay, skin in the game. What does that mean? The skin in the game is essentially how much this... Uh, this person, this principal person, has put into the property. So they've put $122,000 of their own money into this and are borrowing $476,760 uh, from ground floor. 
okay? And they're looking at the after repair value, the ARV, which you're looking at here, so loan to ARV value of 61%. The after value repair value is, uh, they're looking to add another 200,000, so $201,240. So they're looking at the value total to be $800,000 at the end of this. So they're looking at, you know, how do we grade this? Well, they have a scale here of six different values of how to get that A value. So if you're looking, you're looking at this, okay, they're, they're, they're putting in some money here, so they're getting a value of three. The loan to ARV scale is just half. Um, the quality of the valuation report, they're giving that a four. They say, yep, this looks pretty good. Location looks good, they're in that four value. The borrower experience is five and the borrower commitment is one, which basically means are they working on this full-time or part-time? This is a full-time commitment for them. So yeah, they're looking at, as a complete, it's gonna be $800,000. They even show you where it's at on the map, which is pretty cool. And they kind of give you a picture of it. I wish there was more than just one picture here, but that's what you get. Uh, you can see an air conditioner in the windows. That's about it. You, you just kind of see that front view. I would love to see a little bit more, and I'm guessing if you invest in it, you might be able to see more. We're going to find that out when we actually do some investing. We'll get that in a later video, hopefully. We'll see if you guys are interested in this. If you guys are interested in it, please make sure to put some comments down below. Uh, if you want to see what it's like to invest in this, I will do another video on this for you. So there is some miscellaneous items down here. They, they go into project specific risk factor, uh, I'm sorry, risk factors. I'm saying a little too fast here. So the borrowers were advanced money. It needed to purchase this property on May 20th, 2021. So if you go up here and we see, okay, it's a 12 month. So we're already, they already started in May. So we're already that many months in. Um, so they, you know, the borrower is getting that money from ground floor, getting it from the investors that they're going into. Eventually, essentially what happens is ground floor will approve it, they'll give the money, and then you as an investor put that money back in to kind of replenish and, and go towards this. So ground floor is kind of flipping the bill, um, fitting the bill right, right now, and you're kind of just putting your money into that to kind of replenish that. Um, so they're saying, okay, this, this is going to be an extensive renovation probably, and, and therefore we're, you may see some delays and unexpected issues. The renovation will require permitting. Again, that may, um, you know, permits can be denied. It can delay things. They're just trying to let you know that. Um, this is a represents second draw for the construction project and is secured by an individual note. Uh, each draw on this project is structured as an individual loan. So they're just kind of going over some details there. There will be multiple loans on this project, each representing subsequent draws. So both loans will be uh, each 238,000. So that's where you kind of see that, that extra money come into play here. Um, the event of default on one ground floor note secured on this property will trigger default on all of the notes secured on this property. Um, the borrower has, has had late repayments, but has repaid all loans in full with all interest and fees due. So that's good to know. So, you know, they may have defaulted on it, but, or had late payments, but they have paid everything back. So they're, they're kind of giving you some information on this borrower uh, through this miscellaneous area. Uh, borrowers has not completed or sold any projects in the past year. As such, the borrower's average revenue costs and margins cannot be calculated. And uh, please consult the offering calculator. So closing conditions, loan is conditional upon a clean title uh, search and valid title insurance. Um, developer fees, we generally charge borrowers an origination fee, which typically ranges between two and 6%, and a servicing fee, which typically ranges from 0.5 to 2%. We do not take a spread on any part of the interest payments, and I've seen this, I think, the same on all of them. Borrowers may capitalize the cost of closing into the principal amount of the request. Uh, these closing costs simply range between $500 and $1,500, unless otherwise limited by applicable laws. Uh, we may charge a penalty up to 2% for any extension made to the borrower. Um, and then down here they have a borrower summary. So unless noted with a star, information below is supplied by the borrower and is not verified. Um, so date of information or date of formation was 5-20-2001 for this property. Uh, this is the financial data, prop, value of properties, total debt. So nothing really put in here, but they do show the, the principal of who owned it, 
the focus is a fix and flip. It looks like they have had 23 loans with ground floor and 15 of them have been repaid so far. So look, shows you that they have 15 repaid. They got some projects in the works with ground floor here. So they've completed uh, 12 per year with an average revenue of $250,000. On-time payments, again, you saw up above, 73% uh, on time repayments, but they have repaid 100% of them. So that is a good thing to know, especially from reading up there. So it takes about six months on average for the projects and their average uh, projects cost 150,000. So this is one of those A value ones. So the low risk, low reward. Again, you're seeing that these guys are paying back uh, their value. So let's go to something uh, a little bit more up there so we'll see the C level that's a 10% rate with 12 months and you see there's skin in the game and I'm gonna just kinda go through this a little bit here um, and it looks like $420,000 value and uh, where is this? This is in Connecticut so a little bit different of an area but you can kinda see you know again the picture of the house a little bit less down here in the miscellaneous area but then again, okay, they've had three funds. None of them have been paid back yet. Um, they they do four a year for projects. No on payment times yet, but uh, on time payments yet. But again, this is probably let's see here. Doesn't say anything on here about uh, them missing anything. So it looks like they just have this many projects going on right now that they they're borrowing against. So again, things to kind of consider. So you're, you're looking as they go up from A to, A to what do we have, D here now, you're, you're up to 12% and uh, different things like that. They do show some recently repaid projects. They can kind of give you, uh, looks like an 11% return on a C, which is above what they were saying. 10%, um, six month, 12 month with the 69%. Again, these are all C's, so they kind of give you that 10% return like they've been telling you that they were going to do. Now, the other thing to think about, the the fees for you are really not, I don't think, and I'm going to have to look into this, but I, I remember reading somewhere, and I will have to, to confirm this with you guys, or for you guys, is that um, the fees, the, the, the main fee is being paid by the borrower, not by the investor. So the money that you're putting in, you're not getting feed on it. It's being paid by the borrower in this instance. So you, you're not gonna be losing any money in that respect with any kind of advisory fees or anything like this. You're gonna be making, if we go back to this main investment area with this auto investing, you in essence, when you're doing your auto investing, you can tell how much money you want to put in each level and it will invest in any loans currently on the platform using the parameters you set, but in which you have not yet invested in. So you can, in essence, go from A to G with that high rate of return if you wanted to, you could, you could put money in there and make your own REIT just with this auto investor tool. This, this automatic investing tool. So you're investing in single properties, but with this, and, and even if you're investing on your own, say you're like me, and what we're doing with, with Fundrise right now is I'm putting in $50 every pay. If you're doing it here, you can kind of say, okay, well, I want to go and I want to put $10 in each one of these levels. So we, we kind of do that. You're creating your own REIT on your own. Now, the only thing to think about with this is that you're 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 kind of putting your trust in individual borrowers. So there is a chance that these guys will default um, on, on their payments. So you may you may end up losing something on here. You know that that's the risk of anything, especially on these you know yellow and above. You don't usually see that on I think the ABCs, but the DEFGs. A little higher at least from what I've been researching and I'm, I'm gonna try and get a little bit more information on that for another video but again this was just kind of an introductory thing but but when we're talking about REITs again you can kind of create your own thing here um, so again think about that when you go through it so 
kind of just that little easy thing here for you guys to look at. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. If you want me to kind of look at investing in this and we can kind of see where it goes from there, I can I can put some money in a couple properties here and see how it goes. I personally I'm kind of interested in it as well. I I want to try and, and do that, you know, full spread and create my own REIT out of this and see how it goes. Um, and just see what the rate of returns is on this and just kind of invest as we go and see how it goes. So again, th tell me what your thoughts are down below on the comments, what you think I should be looking at investing in. If there's any other kind of crowdsourcing app or website that you want to want me to look at, I can look at it for you and kind of do a compare and contrast between other services of that kind. If you did like this, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. I hope you didn't get bored by the end of this. I don't even know how long we're, we're at on the video here. Um, but again, if you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.